how much is the real slippage that you get while trading right so if you are using stockmark for backtesting your strategies then you can use quantiply for trading those strategies because backtesting on stock mock happens on basically if you are using re-entry re-execute that happens on candle close and in other platforms the system could be different and that is why the results of your trades that you are backtesting on stock mock and then probably executing those strategies in uh, let's say algo test or stock so may not be matching because if the settings are different the results are not going to match any time so let's take this scenario this is a 20 lakh basket that i am currently trading in one of my clients account and here is the like estimated margin that you can clearly see is at around 20 lakh rupees and the overall profit is at around 356 percent the drawdown of this basket is at around 40,000 and the max loss of the strategy is at around 28,000 so that is 1.5 percent you can clearly see the expectancy of system is touching near one and rmdd that is return to mdd ratio uh, is near 45 year right the important part is the drawdown is in control and the recovery days are very less while max loss is uh, controllable that is around 1.5 percent now in the month of january we will see that the back tested result was at around 88,718 rupees right now this is with 0.5 percent inbuilt slippage that stock mock already considers in its own back testing right now i have shown you that the back tested result here was at around 88,718 rupees and this is pre-tax so if you are using strategies that have re-entry my humble advice would be first thing use Finvasia or any other zero broker that does not charge any brokerage to you it could be uh, Kotak it could be uh, M Stock it could be uh, let's say Zebu there are a lot of platforms that are offering you zero brokerage account right so that is one of the important things then your practice thing after some uh, let's say the stt gst and all is going to match with the live results right so here the back tested data shows me 88,718 rupees and that is around four percent return so i am now going to show you my uh, trading journal which i have shared in the youtube video here you can download this trading journal and you can watch this video as well i'm going to link in the description right so here is one of my clients account that i am trading currently with this this strategy here and here you see the total capital that i've deployed is 220 lakh rupees uh, 21 lakh rupees 20000 right so 21 lakh 20000 rupees is the total capital currently the deployed capital is at around uh, 20 20 lakh rupees or 20.5 lakh rupees now here this is the daily pnl sheet and if we look at the daily pnl sheet i will just add all the january result here and in this january result you can see that the total sum here that i am highlighting here is 89387 rupees right so this is the total sum here now what was in the back test the uh, we had seen that in the back test the total sum was 88718 rupees there could be days where um, i might have overridden the system and that is why i might may have made some kind of extra return in that in those cases but let us now go and back uh, let us now go and check it in the back end pnl report that i have downloaded from the finvasia platform here as you can see this is a total pnl report that is from first of uh, first of uh, january 2023 that is the second january 2023 till 31st of january 2023 right now in this pnl report you can see the strike price the buy and sell difference the net pnl after taxes brokerage etc that is the government taxes stt gst is coming at around 74979 rupees so my pnl here matched exactly the raw PNL exactly matched with my backtested PNL, and that was at around 88,000, 89,000. Now there could there there were many days where I had profit in the live trade, but I had a loss in backtesting, and there were also many days where I had a loss in backtesting, but there were profit in uh, there were profit in uh, live trades here, right? Or vice versa, basically, right? Now there could be instances which is uh, where this these things are going to happen. But overall, what I believe as far as far as I am uh, trading in Quantiply from the last six to eight months, and I've been using Stockmark from a long time now, I believe that uh, the 
slippages in the end are going to average out you will get positive slippages you will get negative slippages and this is the second video that i am making on the slippages you can see the first video that i made about slippages was basically this video i would definitely urge you to watch this video so that you will understand what are the exact what are the exact slippages that you get here right so here i have talked about this how much slippage is the real slippage is this video where you should definitely go and watch right now i just want to bust all the myths that are there in the market that you get 1% 1 1.5% 2.5% there are a lot of people those who are just spreading uh, rumors or they are just spreading false information without any kind of data that uh, without any kind of data here i would now show you back testing with 1% slippage that is 0.5% inbuilt here that the stock mock adds and i will just add i have already added the settings here so it will just take few seconds and i'll show you with 1% slippage what does the back testing show and what are the live results here now there could be days there could be months where let's say you may get a negative slippage there that is definitely possible but if you run a strategy consistently and it is really important that you run a strategy uh, of stock mock in quantiply or you can use uh, any other platform that is my algomate or stock so but change the settings look at the settings that the settings are with one minute close and the logic of stock mock matches with the logic of execution platform currently i use i trade with more than two crore right now and i have been uh, using quantiply and i can proudly say that you can use quantiply without any tension without any uh worries i personally know the owner of quantiply i've met him a lot a lot of times I, I i literally talk to him like every alternate day so that is my one request that stick to one i'll uh, stick to one backtesting platform and stick to one execution platform don't backtest in uh, don't backtest on algo test and then go and run the strategy let's say in quantiply because the logic is different you have to change the settings you have to look at the settings right now i've added 0.5% slippage here so once i have added this slippage as you can clearly see now i will show you the estimated margin it's the same around 19.5 lakh rupees now i am showing you the back tested result here so in in 1% slippage i get a return of 46000 here in 1% slippage i get a return of 46000 here while in live result before or after tax also i am getting a return of 75000 or before tax i am getting a return of 89000 89000 was the total return here Right, 82,000. Sorry, uh, the total return was 82,000 rupees, 82,945. The back tested return that we had seen was 88,000. Right, so it is near to 0 0.5 approximately. You can, worst case, you can assume 0 0.6 or 0 0.7, but one person slippage is totally illogical. That I would, I, I would like to say here that one person slippage is totally illogical, and I would just, I, I have been, I've, I've busted this myth. For the second time in this video also i have shown uh, the live result in uh zero the back testing uh zero the pnl and the back testing here you can see that video as well 